Hello, I'm Ryan. And I'm Raphael. And we're at the Jacob Javits Expo Center in New York City for the seventh annual Gay Life Expo. Let's go have some fun. Expo Javits Center. To the entertainment stage. This artist, not only is he incredibly talented, but currently putting his songwriting talents to the test, recording his full length album expected this spring, and touring his latest single, I'm Not Crazy, with dance floor remixes from DJs Mike Cruz, Twisted T, Keith Heimeyer, and Randy Bettis. He also has a new music video showing its world premiere tonight at Splash Bar, New York. Please welcome to the stage Mr. Brian Kent! It seems like yesterday we were only friends It was all brand new You took my life by storm It was all I could do Not to think of you So we're at the Gay Life Expo, and this is a voice you most certainly will recognize. Brian Kent, backup singer for the world-renowned Christine W., is now taking to the stage with his own original track, I'm Not Crazy. Now, when you performed today at the Expo, you said it might be a little bit autobiographical. Do tell. Uh, well, most of my friends will definitely attest to the fact that I'm very crazy. As a matter of fact, most of them will say that I'm insane. So, you know, it's a little autobiographical for sure. Now tell me about performing at the Gay Life Expo, because you performed for years in Las Vegas with Christine W. You've done your own gig, you've been at so many wonderful Pride events, always supporting the community. What is it like then to perform at an Expo Center? Um, it's a different crowd. I mean, people are here um, just walking around, having a good time, so you really got to work to kind of pull them in. But um, it's always, always a fun time. You know, it's a very professional setup, and you get to meet a lot of great people. So uh, yeah, always a fun show. Now, you're always seen at these major functions, fundraisers. Why is it so important to you to keep supporting our community? Well, I think it's really important to give back to the community that gives to me. Uh, so I really try to be involved as much as I can. Um, you know, I pick and choose the functions that are important to me and, and try to support them the best that I can. Now, how about yeah. being out at work? This is a topic we're discussing with a bunch of different people. You're launching your career now. What are your decisions about being now an out artist launching a debut CD? Well, I think, you know, um, for me, I realized that the only way I was ever going to be happy doing what I love to do was doing it as myself. And uh, trying to be something that I'm not really, I think, just gets in the way with the creative energy. And it really kind of inhibits you from doing what you do. And you're, you're hold back and you're not really who you are. So I think for me, it was not even a question. It was just something that had to be. So, okay. Raphael? Now, let's talk, nice. about, let's talk about your voice because I think your voice is pretty amazing. When did you begin first singing? Um, since I was a little kid. My mom says I was singing in the womb. So, I'm not sure what, but... <laughs> no, because earlier I love the fact that you didn't have to lip sync, that you held your notes 
and you held your energy and you were just beautiful. I mean, Thank really. You. Thank you. So now, where could we see you next? Because that's what I want to know. Well, tonight is my big um, music video premiere at Splash Bar. And then um, I'll be performing um, in January. I'm performing at Vlada Lounge and uh, a lot of upcoming prides over the summer. So uh, you can always go to my website and check it out and um, see where I'm going to be. Now, one more question. I'm sure a lot of people want to know. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> I do. He's actually also my photographer. So it kind of it kind of works. Well. Interview over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Uh, your boyfriend, uh, is he supportive of your career? Amazingly. Um, like I said, he's a photographer, so he's in the, in the creative industry. So we kind of get each other's quirky artist side. So, yeah, he's very supportive. Very. Awesome. Well, I hope to see you a lot more. I hope so, too. And I'll be there tonight. Oh, excellent. Brian? I have one more question for you, Brian. Now, you were very, very successful in your Las Vegas stint. Obviously, when you're in Vegas, you're known. You can keep getting rebooked. Why did you choose to start over in New York? You know, when I was a little kid, I always, this was just somewhere I always wanted to come. And, um, you know, it's like that whole saying, you know, if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. And I just kind of felt like Vegas was somewhere I wanted to go later on in life, where I settled down and, you know, but New York was a challenge and something I wanted to conquer. So here I am. And we're so glad that you are here. What do you want next? What's on your goal list? Well, I'm finishing my upcoming album. So that's releasing in the spring. So I'm really excited about that. And um, just hopefully getting out there and touring some more and getting the music out. Absolutely not a crazy idea for someone with that much talent. Ryan and Raphael here at the Gay Life Expo with Brian Kent. On and on, 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 on and on. And I'm Raphael, West 17th Street at SBNY Splash Bar, where moments we are about to see the world premiere video of Brian Kent's I'm Not Crazy. And if this doesn't prove to you that you can get more than a drink when you go out in New York City, I don't know what else will. Let's also talk with Aaron Tanner, who booked tonight's legendary event at Splash Bar. I cannot wait to speak to Aaron. In we go, SBNY, New York City. 
the music down. Okay. I'm gonna introduce you. Okay. Nice. I'm not crazy, right? Yeah. Okay. Latest, how do you want me to say it? Latest soon to be hit single? Uh it's latest single, the music video first latest single. And this is the this is the video release. Yeah. New York City. World premiere, no one's World ever seen premiere. it. Nobody's ever seen it. Cast a crew here, they've never seen it. Yeah, Aaron Tanner wasn't asked to be in it. But anyway. Ah! Alright. But he was asked to be a part of the opening. Yeah. Hello. Thanks. Guys. Guys in Cross. <laughs> so, and then we'll um and then I'll hand it up to you. Okay. As soon as I hand it up to you, I step off the box. I saw off the stage. Okay. You talk, you thank, appreciate. Okay. You cue the DJ when you want him to play it. Raise right there to play it. Okay. Okay. So it's no sound, but you talk me. I okay. move and I get the champagne from the bar. Okay. We just start handing it out. Okay. Okay. Hey, Ryan. Come in. Come in. Sorry. It's perfect. That close? It's perfect. And then, then when you're play done playing, he'll switch over to his own thing. Okay. You got some minutes to chat with your fans. Okay. And then you and I do our thing upstairs. Great. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We're on West 17th Street at the Splash Bar, otherwise known as SBNY, with infamous porn star turned club promoter doing community service on the side for most notably hotshot Aaron Tanner. Aaron, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Very, very well. This is a great party you have here, here at Splash. Tell me, what brought you to this notorious venue? Um, I used to do a party at the Eagle, and these guys have a raunchier side, but Chelsea's not really used to it, so they came over and asked me to join in, and you can't turn down the best venue in New York City. It's and amazing. absolutely, Splash Bar SBNY is the hottest ticket. Clubs all around the world model what happens here. Why do you think this is so notorious? Well, first, I mean, they're, they're always changing and expanding. Um, the place just went through a bathroom upgrade six months ago. The place is beautiful. They're always looking for the newest thing, and every night offers something different. So people can come here, whether they're into black Latino hip-hop night, whether they're into fetish night, whether they're into drag queens. There's something here every night for somebody at Splash. Now, we're here on a Saturday night. What's tonight's party called? Uh, Aaron Tanner's Men's Night. And here is Aaron Tanner. Now, Aaron Tanner, I've got to ask you, there's an amazing party happening here for Brian Kent's world premiere music video, I'm Not Crazy. Now, why did you choose to book Brian Kent? Um, Brian Kent is a great talent here in the city. He's local. He is going to be huge. The, uh, the rest of the world, you know, I'm sure they're getting used to it, but in New York City, we get the advantage of seeing the talent and picking through who's going to really make it. He is a great singer. I've known him for several years, and when he came to me that he was having this video and wanted to do it, I had to jump on it. You know, He's a great guy, a great talent, and if I could put that video out there first, I had to do it. Now, what do you have planned for tonight's celebration? Um, we've got a few surprises. We've got uh, a lot of boys lined up for Brian to help him celebrate. We got, uh, I heard there's a little champagne on the menu. We've got some massages going on by some cuties, champagne, <laughs> CDs, lube being given out by ID, lots of surprises every Saturday night, and certainly Brian has added to that this week. So. so, Aaron, my last question for you is, obviously, if you know what you're doing in New York, you can get more than a drink when you go out. Oh. <laughs> easy. It's easy. You just got to know how to work it. So what would you recommend people who want, well, more than a drink? Art, culture, music. What, what's your hot pick for this city? Oh, my gosh. I'm too tied up in the nightlife. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aaron. When you're not working, where do you go for fun? The movies, the park, uh, the piers. Um, but, you know, turning winter, uh, Central Park, ice skating. And I agree. I mean, how could you pick in a city as big as New York yes. the one thing you do? Because on Monday you do A, on Tuesday you do B, and on Saturday you come to Aaron Tanner's party exactly. and celebrate Brian Every Kent's Saturday. I'm Not Crazy <laughs> world premiere music video party. Check it out. Thank nice you. to see you, Aaron. Raphael here. We are at the world-renowned Splash Bar SBNY with renowned pop singing sensation Brian Kent. We're about to view the world premiere video of I'm Not Crazy. Yes. So how does that feel? I'm so excited. It's been um, a labor of love, six months since the video shoot exactly, and uh, we're very excited to see the final product. So all the dancers and the choreographer and director, director of uh, photography are all here. So. Why did you pick Splash Bar SBNY to, to have your video viewed here? Well, um, Splash Bar is an institution, so it's like, you know, kind of like 
the institution of the gay community. I felt it was very appropriate to just have it here and, um, you know, everyone's welcome here and I'm just very excited they allowed me to have it here. And um, I couldn't think of a better place because when I first moved to New York, this was um, the bar that I first came to. And so here I am, finally having my video premiere, so it's, it's all good. So now, what have you done that was a little crazy in your career <laughs> to get you to the point where you're at? Because you are everywhere. Everywhere. What have I not done that was crazy in my career? I, I, I've, done it, I've opened um, envelopes. I've done whatever I had to do to make it happen. But I mean, you know, anytime anybody would ever hear me perform or ever hear me sing, I'm, I was there. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just blessed that I'm here tonight. And um, I have an amazing bunch of people working with me who um, have supported me. And I'm just, I'm very, very blessed. Very, very blessed. So I'm, I'm thankful to be here tonight. And the beauty is you have true talent, which Thank is rare. You. <laughs> Thank you. Brian, I want to talk about your video. I didn't even yeah. recognize the fact that it was the eagle. Um, yeah, no one would recognize the fact the eagle. I mean, we shot it in such a way that it was a, a very warehouse, industrial feel. And that's really what we wanted. But um, thank you to the owners of the eagle for allowing us to use their space. Um, it came out really amazing. And, it, it, you know, the whole video has that whole, like, kind of grungy, dirty, you know, hard kind of feel. And we just felt the, that the eagle was very appropriate for that kind of thing. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Brian, why do you think in this day and age it's still considered progressive? to show two people of the same sex just enjoying each other. I, I think it's not about like being progressive at all. I think it's about actually showing reality. I think it's about showing what really happens. I mean, in this day and age, we are two guys, two girls, guys and girls. Um, you know, that's what reality really is. And so I think in the video, we just really show what's happening in this day and age. And I think whether or not people are ready to accept it or not, it's what it is, and it, it is a reality. So I, I love I, it. I hope to just bring that to life. I love it. Yeah. And without further ado, the world premiere video at SBNY Splash for I'm Not Crazy with Brian Kent. No! 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 You can do better than that. Are you having a good time? How many of you came out here to support Brian Kent and his famous single, I'm Not Crazy? Yeah, let me hear it! Brian's a very good friend of mine. I'm very happy to have him here at Splash for his world premiere release of I'm Not Crazy. I'd like to turn it over to him. Then we're going to champagne toast to support Brian, and we're going to hit that video and watch it hard. So, right, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Brian Kidd. Hey, everybody! Oh, my God. So, um, okay, just a moment. I have to say, first of all, thank you to everybody who's come out tonight. And um, this video is a labor of love. Thank you to every single person who made this dream come true for me. All my dancers, my choreographer, James Harkis, my director, Joe Coakley, director of photography, Chad Nelson. Thank you all, everybody, my partner, Jim, my manager, Rich, and I'm not gonna, I feel like I'm accepting, a, yeah, I'm like accepting Academy Awards here. Thank you so much. I hope you guys like it. <laughs> It's taken six months, but I have to give a special shout out to Final Cut USA, to Renee and Michael, who are my editors, who, who absolutely made all this come to life. And no matter what we do in, in, the, in the theater, no matter what we do on the set, these are the guys that really made it come to life. So thank you, Renee and Michael, very much. And, uh, oh, what's this? Oh, it's champagne. So everybody raise your glasses. Does everybody have champagne? They're passing it out. They're passing it out. Here's to everybody that has supported me and supported uh, the music industry. Thank you, Randy Dennis, Mike Cruz, everybody who did remixes. Um, I love you. Thank you for making my life so wonderful. Cheers! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here's the video. I'm not crazy.
want to see your leave the bubble like crazy. We'll have a beer after all night long. And we're not done yet. At 2 a.m., the dance mix for Randy Bennett. He's in the house. The dance mix that we live on that floor, so you want to work your way up there. Drink up for here till 4 a.m. Back to you, DJ Chris Padilla. So Brian, here we are at SBNY, Splash Bar. We just saw your world premiere video of I'm Not Crazy. Yes. How do you feel? I am so excited. I'm elated. I finally, after so many months of work, finally got premiered. So it's all good. Yeah. And it was an incredible video. You have a beautiful voice. Thank you. And I think talent will always prevail over other things. Rich, what did you feel? Well, Brian was amazing. I mean, it was great to have the team back. It was like a big reunion. Absolutely. And uh, better things from here. We had the whole cast and crew here, which is one of my producers, and um, it was just exciting for the whole cast and crew. They haven't seen it at all, so for them to finally see what they worked so hard for was great. I agree. Yeah. So we're going to party? Yes, absolutely. It's time to party. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Raphael, what did you think? I cannot believe how much fun you could have in New York City in one night right here at SBNY Splash Bar New York. And if this doesn't prove that you can get more than a drink when you go out, I don't know what else can. Have a good one. I'm not crazy.